It's known for decades that there are vast networks of pits, tubes, and skylights on the Moon and Mars. So the skylights are some of the smaller holes that go directly down into the caves. These caves are holy grail destinations because they have the great prospect of protecting humans from the heat, cold, radiation, and micrometeorites on the surface, and also high priority targets for science. These pits are the only visible area where you can actually look at the geology, the volcanology, and actual bedrock, since everything else is covered with dusty powder. They're so enticing, and yet never risen to the relevance of mission, because there's never been the dream of how would you ever get into it until now. NIHEC was like having the first somebody that might actually believe in a wild idea. It matters so much to be believed in. That is what NIHEC brings to the game. And so the great vision we call Skylight, a small rover to achieve these highly purposeful missions. They must have the autonomy to approach the Great Caves to view, map, and model, and look for a viable entrance and never, ever go too far. These missions of our time, they are small, and they lack the isotope or giant batteries that would endure a night. For that reason, this rover has to complete its entire mission in a single lunar illumination period. To do that is such a leap beyond the rovers that we have now. This little rover aspires to hundredfold speed and range. It's that intentional purpose of a mission imbued into the rover, and that's what this autonomy would be about. It's so different than that which has gone before.